Hey guys, thank you so much for stopping by my channel. My name is Kathy and this is Cruise Budgets. If you're new to my channel, in my videos, I do cash stuffing, sinking funds, savings challenges, anything that has to do with money, I try to do it here in my channel. So thank you so much for stopping by and hope you stick around. You guys, so I am stuffing my debt binder once again. I am stuffing it with my regular $50 that I try to put every week. Um, I do have a personal loan that I took out with Discover two years ago. I initially took out $10,000. I am around 5734 I believe I could be mis um, I could be <laughs> mistaken but it's around there and I'm trying to pay this off within an, a year and a half around there um so you guys this is how I'm doing it I want to live a debt-free life <laughs> I kind of regret putting myself in that debt but you know I needed that money for a lot of things and you go you know once that paid off then um my credit will be a little bit better so you guys here we are I have eight envelopes and I use an eight-sided die to let me know which envelope I'm going to stuff. And as I go, I will let you know who the challenges are from. And I'll have everybody linked down below in my description box. And go check them out and please support them the way you are supporting me. So let's go ahead, you guys. Oh, after I'm done with my debt binder, I will do a closeout for the month of May. I know it's a little late, but I like doing it because it keeps me accountable and I let you know. Um, it lets everybody know what I saved and what I spent and how I basically break down my clothes out. So let's go ahead and roll. And this is a dice tower that was given to me by one of my lawyer supporters, Annabelle. Thank you so much. And also the desk vacuum. <laughs> so that is a two. So we are going to this freebie that I received from Laura over at Laura Bell's Creation. And I'm putting in two dollars because each circle is two dollars and i don't count any of these until i complete them all right i just need one more and i am done with this challenge you guys so hopefully i can make a good decent payment for the end of this month so oh we haven't done this one yet this is also a challenge from laura over at laura bell's creation and this is a peacock and it's a say 45 dollars, and it has denominations of five to ten so let's scratch one okay and ten dollars out of the bat all right let's go ahead and roll again okay number eight we are you guys i have this binder filled with laura's challenges this is one of her freebies <laughs> and for this one i'm gonna roll a six-sided die you guys i'm living dangerously so let's see number three all right three and that's what i'm going to be putting in one two three and you guys this is a good way you i've never thought to put extra on any debt payments you guys and this has been so much fun and helpful i love seeing those numbers go down every month so that's a seven and we are going here this challenge is from tanya over at the nightlife uh she has a ko-fi shop i'll have that link down below she is amazing you guys go support her her and laura you guys go check everybody out so the next high number is number four all right and if i have a single yes i do i'll put in a five in here awesome let's roll again oh and i just need one one more for that one too oh we are going back to number eight and laura's freebie roll that six sided die and it's a six all right so five and six that is good let's roll again two yay you guys we are back to laura laura's challenge and i like using all the colors because i have a whole bunch of markers <laughs> and i want to make them useful <laughs> all right you guys so let's see how much this has saved me uh, so that's 20, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, you guys. So I got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So I'm just going to condense this a bit. So that's 32. Another challenge done. Bump, bump, 
but another challenge done all right you guys let's paper clip this and put this to the side all right so since that one is completed i am going to be putting in this challenge here this is from eva over at mommy with the money i've had it for a while this is this was one of her freebies is a safe 33 and i'm going to put this inside all right two oh <laughs> all right it wants to debut today <laughs> So I'm going to do one of the big numbers. The biggest denomination here is three. So I'm going to go ahead and do that one. All right, three, one, two, three. And this one says spring is nature's way of saying less party. And this is a spring challenge, you guys. We are almost in summer. I know I'm so late. All right, seven okay we are going back to seven and you guys we are coloring the last one this is tanya's challenge and this is a save 25 so let's see if i got 25 dollars here that's 10 15 16 17 18 oh there's a five in here all right 10 15 20 21 22 23 24 25 so let me just grab these five singles and grab that last five to condense that a bit. And another challenge done. But, 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 another challenge done. So that is two challenges today. Hooray, hip, hip, hooray. And I am bringing in, this is It's a Bubble Mystery. This challenge is from Marlene over at Snow Gardener 307. And this is a save under 75, but you guys, it's double sided. So, this one is gonna last me a bit <laughs> all right so that is gonna be my number seven so for me minis or anything any challenges under a hundred dollars so it could be 75 50 55 60 as long as it's a hundred dollars for me it's considered as a mini in my book <laughs> so six we are going to number six and this is from angie um she doesn't have a youtube channel but she does have an etsy shop um, I will have her link down below and this is one of her monthly challenges is May but I made every flower two dollars and her Etsy shop is designed by NG Co. So I'm gonna color one flower So that's one and two You guys we are making great progress today, you know, I was worried that I wasn't gonna make so much of a big payment this month But I'm so happy. I'm completing these challenges and the Bubba Mystery wants to debut today as well. And it's debuting with a high number. <laughs> I got an eight. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Count that again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so eight dollars going in here. This one is gonna save me a big chunk, you guys. I can't wait. All right, eight. All right, it's liking the challenges in the back. All right, so let's roll this six-sided die, and that's a one. One, and one is going in here. Let's roll again. Four, finally. Oh, you guys, ah, I got an IOU here. I keep forgetting I have IOUs, you guys. All right, I'll put that dollar in. It was an IOU of a dollar. <laughs> oh man, I'm the worst. Um, That was four. All right, oh, you guys, that's the last one. Oh my God. And it's a big number, it's eight. Oh no, let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh boy, one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, you guys, so this is semi-completed. I'm going to keep it here because I'm going to pay off the $2. So let me have, I have a IOU of $2 already here, prep. <laughs> I'm going to keep that here and that is not considered complete yet until I pay those $2. And you guys, that is all my money. So the completed challenges will go to this accordion that I have here. And I currently have one challenge in here only one that's it it's all by itself not anymore 
So we are sticking in this one in here. Take the paper clip out, that way it fits in here. So that's one and two. So I have three challenges completed so far for this month for my minis, my dead binder. And you guys, now we are on to my sinking funds and my closeout for the month of May. So I went through all my envelopes and um, so starting from, no, ending with April, last week of April, I had $7,035 throughout my whole sinking funds envelope. So then ending the month of May, I ended up with $7,009. So it's not so much of a difference, you guys. It is basically $26 less than April. I mean, then, um, yes, than April. So we are still there, you guys. I really haven't stuffed my sinking funds because I haven't really completed any of the enormous challenges that I have for my Sunday savings because I've been very short in funds. Um, I'm prioritizing my debt binder and my CD ladder. So I'd rather put money there than putting it on my Sunday savings. And you guys, hopefully, you know, I'm able to budget more of my money and hopefully I have more funds freed up to be able to put more into my sinking funds. So, but that's that, you guys, that's pretty good. I mean, not a massive jump nor a massive decrease. Decrease. So I'm very happy with them. It's staying, it's stable for right now, very stable. So as far as my May closeout goes, um, so my income, May was a magic month for me. So I received a total of $4,567 for all my checks. I spent $2,377 only in bills and expenses. For my personal binder, it got $120. For my cash envelopes, it got a total of $650. For my saving buffer, and that is what's left in my check-ins account, um, that is $150 um, all throughout the month of May. And for my savings, I was able to put aside $1,270. So out of my cash envelopes, out of the $650, I spent $636, and $14 was rolled over to my letterbox challenge because I had only singles. Uh, saving buffer. So out of the $150, $127 was spent, and then $23 was rolled over to my savings account, my regular savings account. So that is pretty good. So for the total of savings, any, everything that I saved was $1,427 which is 31% of my entire income for the month of May. So that's really good, you guys. I like it. You know, I'm in the 30s. So anything in the 30%, like be between 30 to 40%, that is amazing. So, I mean, even though I had a lot of expenses, but I was able to save enough to make that 31%. So that's really good. And um, for total spent, I spent for everything $3,140. So that's 69 of 69% of my paycheck. So you guys, not as great as last month, but this is really good. I mean, ho hopefully I could keep it up or be better. But um, yeah, I need to stop purchasing stuff up, um, on Etsy. And that's basically it, you guys. I did make some household purchases, so that's why I had a lot of depth with my credit cards. So yeah, but this is pretty good. I'm very happy with the month of May. Hopefully June will be okay as well. I mean, I doubt it. I had a lot of bills to pay. So yeah, that is my closeout, you guys. And if you stay to the very end, please leave me an emoji of a notebook. And you guys have a beautiful, beautiful day. I'll be back tomorrow with my savings with friends. Hopefully you guys stick around for that video. It's so much fun. And I really, really do appreciate each and every one of you. And I'll see you next time. Take care, guys. Bye.